Hi, it's Ashley from Woodyak Curtains, and today I'm going to show you how to fit a vertical blind in the window we have here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, right, to explain the different types of brackets, so you've got the top fixed brackets, which are those little clips here. These will fit inside the window recess, like underneath where the lintel is. Clip them on, they just need to be clipped straight on the headrail. Put the lip across the top, and then give it a bit of force. That'll clip straight on like that. Face fix, which is these little L-shaped brackets. As you can see, there's a little lip at the back. Um, that needs to be on the headrail. That goes in like that. And then it'll just like um, re-tighten it with a screwdriver. And then simply, that will fit outside the recess and clip on like that. Right, now it's time to fit the blind. Here you are gonna need some of your own equipment. So you're gonna need a really good um, drill. For this, we've got one here. You're also going to need a tape measure, a pencil and a screwdriver. Right, okay, so the next stage is fitting the brackets. You've got to be aware of the handles. The blinds must sit in front of the handles, otherwise the slat's just going to knock the handles when it's moves it across. If you get your tape measure, just measure how far they stick out from the window frame. This one here, talking about two and a half centimetres. So if we said three and a half centimetres from the window frame, we know there's no way the blinds can touch the slats at all. They should all be okay. Here are all the vertical blind slats, and the easiest way to do this is to lie them on the windowsill. So if you lie one or two of them down like this, these slats are uh, standard at 89 millimeters wide. Okay, so you know you've got, we said that the window handle is about three centimeters, so we lay an extra centimeter for that, so it's gonna be four centimeters. This is gonna be right under the middle of the headrail, so that means where you want to hang your uh, screws is going to be eight and a half. If you round up to nine, a little something that makes my life a lot easier, just get your packaging, literally grab some scissors and cut out nine centimeter square piece of cardboard. Then all you need to do is lie it on the top like that, right in the corner, fit the corner, and then just mark there. And it's just so much easier. And you know where that one is. And then do the same the other side. Right, okay, so now that we've drilled the holes, we're gonna put some brown wall plugs in and then screw the uh, brackets in place for these screws. <coughs> Top of the head rail, push it under that clip, then gently use a palmy hand, that'll click in. Let the light cords hang for like 30 seconds, they're all still, and then all you need to do is push that up against the window, just mark it with a pencil. Okay, so now you need to hang the slats, take them out of the bag, tightly hold the top of the slats, you know the bottoms are because the lead weights and the chains are all in them. Just basically clip them into the clips on the bottom of the headrail, like so. What you'll notice is there's one extra slat here and that's for a spare in case any of them are damaged you can swap them over so you might just have to get your scissors and chop the uh, chain off on the bottom. Okay brilliant and that's it you're all done. You can now use the vertical blind if you want to open and close the slats like this. Also once you're in the open position you can pull them all to one side if you like. Thank you for watching our video if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe in the link below. Thank you very much.